Hello everyone, how are you? I hope you are doing good. So today we are going to begin with a new chapter, Tracing Changes Through a Thousand Years. So, in the earlier videos we have learnt that what Indian subcontinent was like. So now we will see how did we trace these changes, how did we came to know about the changes that occurred in the Indian subcontinent over the period of thousand years. So let's begin. In this chapter, we are going to learn the following. We will see an introduction to this chapter. How new and old terminologies were formed and what are those terminologies. Historians and their source. Who were historians and what are their sources that provide us with the evidence of the existence of life in the Indian subcontinent. Then we will see new social and political groups. What were the new social groups that were existing in India at that time? And what were the political groups and powers? Then we will see what were the empires in different regions which were established in the Indian subcontinent. Thinking about time and historical periods. So, what kind of historical periods of time are of significant importance to the Indian history? So, let's begin. So, to give an introduction to you about this chapter, Indian subcontinent was never a small subcontinent. It was vast. A lot of people were living and existing in India, belonging to different ideologies, coming from different traditions and places in the same place. So, here in this section is a world map drawn by a geographer, Al Idrisi, in the 12th century, in the year 1154 CE. So, this shows the Indian subcontinent from land to sea. So, as you can see here, it is a map. So, you can see sea here, the sea area and the land as well. So, this was made and drafted by a geographer, Al Idrisi. So, this was made in 1720s. There is another map of India which was made in the year 1720s by a French cartographer. Now you will ask who is a cartographer? Cartographer is a person who draws up or makes up maps. So there was a French cartographer who made this map of Indian subcontinent. So the subcontinent from the early 18th century, the Atlas Nouveau of Guillaume the Eel. So there was a cartographer known as Guillaume the Eel and a atlas nouveau, a new atlas was formed. So nouveau in French means new. So this map seems more familiar to us to what we have today. So I am sure if you look at the image you can relate that this is somewhat similar to the outline of India that we have today, to the map of India that we have today. So. There is a coastal area here, you can see the coastal region. Then, in a particular area, area that is surprisingly detailed. So, it is not very withered, it is surprisingly detailed, marked each territory properly. This map was used by European sailors when they were travelling from their country towards India. So, when the historians, they read documents, maps, texts, from the past, they have to be very sensitive because time was not what it used to be. And they can only interpret the meaning from those documents and texts. They do not have a very good understanding of what it would have been to exist at that time. Therefore, they have to be sensitive, repeat, they have to be sensitive to the different historical backgrounds the context in which the information about the past was produced and spread to us in form of documents, texts, maps, etc. So, therefore, maps shows the changes that happened throughout the years. So, Indian subcontinent was not like it used to be. The India that we live in, the territory of the Indian subcontinent, it was not what it used to be over 1000 or 2000 years ago. So, a lot of periodic changes took place throughout the years and that is how we got our subcontinent. However, the maps were not constant always in the history. They were changing and they were interpreted and made by a lot of geographers and cartographers. The accuracy of map differs throughout the period. 
changes in the names of ge geographical places can also be traced through historical maps so how the geography of a country change how the shape or territory or the borders of a country change that can only be determined through the maps and traces of the difference map